Hey everyone, I'm Mike Brooks, and I do have something to admit when it comes to cabbage. I'm a novice. I've never purchased cabbage. We're going to change that today in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen. Chef Valerie from the OUTU School of Medicine is going to introduce us to cabbage. It's Cabbage 101 today, I guess you could say. That's right. So with St. Patrick's Day coming up, we thought it might be fun to talk about cabbages today. Yeah. And there's lots of different kinds. It's very healthy. It's got lots of fiber. Um, this is baby bok choy. So you can get long bok choy or baby bok choy, and you can do a couple <laughs> of different things with this. So you could just slice it like this and mm -hmm. roast it. A lot of people will do that. You can eat this raw if you just wanted to chop it. Yeah. And put it in a salad just like this. You could also use it in this um, manner and just saute the little pieces if you're okay. doing like a stir fry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's one kind of cabbage. Another kind is Napa cabbage. And so most of the time I see people eating this raw in a salad. It's delicious that way. Um, a little Asian vinaigrette is delicious with this, but a lot of people don't know how or in, are intimidated by whole heads of cabbage because they are right. so large. So you need um, a larger knife, okay? So this is the time to not use a paring knife. You want to use a French knife or some sort of larger knife that can go all the way through the cabbage. So you can actually make a false cut. So you're gonna cut all the way down, but you can see that the head is still intact mm -hmm. and that's gonna keep it together when you start chopping. And so just some little thin slices. And what do you look for when you're looking at cabbage? How do you choose a good one? Just the color, the, the yeah, way it smells? Or? That's a great question. You don't want it to have any black spots on it where it might be starting to mold. Mm -hmm. And you can see that this Napa cabbage, it is beautiful. It's got some bright green on it still, which yeah. is what you want. And the leaves are crisp. They're not wilted at all. Um, so that's what you're looking for. And like this red cabbage, it still has the beautiful outer leaves on it, but it just looks really fresh. I mean, I think that you would be able to tell the difference mm -hmm. in one that kind of had brown leaves and maybe not as <laughs> fresh. Okay, so this cabbage, so you can see nice shreds of cabbage. Mm -hmm. And again, great for a fresh salad. And it doesn't have to be an Asian kind of vinaigrette. It can be anything that you want, but it is delicious. And you can also saute this too, but it's a very soft cabbage, so you wouldn't saute it very long. Okay. All right, so for our just green or red cabbage, um, again, it can be intimidating because it's like, where do I cut this thing? So you're gonna put the core down. You're gonna cut all the way through the cabbage. Then you're gonna locate this core right here. Okay. And I'm making this little shape because we're gonna do a V cut shape out of the cabbage. All right, so we're gonna make one cut this way one cut this way and you just take this little chunk out and we'll discard that okay all right and so then just for the chopping part of it you can do lots of different ways but if you wanted just to shred it like this so this could be for coleslaw this could be for a saute some sort of salad we'll move this out of the way mm -hmm. but if you wanted just to do a lot of people like their cabbage just to be in chunks one way than another, yeah. and look how easy that right. is. It is, yes. it's easy. Now you do need a relatively sharp knife, and most kitchen cuts happen because the knives are not sharp enough. Really? Yes. I hadn't thought of that, okay. Yes, because you have to force the you knife to, so okay. much. Perfect. All right, so just with this little bit of cabbage that we have left, I'm gonna show you a very simple preparation. So over in our little saute pan, we have some onions and garlic and canola oil that have been sauteing, and then to that, we're just gonna add some of this shredded cabbage. Okay. Okay, we'll just do a little, and then this is gonna go right into the pan. And for that much onion, so we had about half an onion, you could do about half a head of cabbage, just a sprinkle of salt or pepper, really good side okay. dish. Easy. You could stir in some beans yeah. to make it a complete protein or a partial protein. Um, but the caramelization is really important. You can see in this pan, that we have some good caramelization going on with the onion, and you want to get good caramelization going on with the cabbage also. Love Lots it, of flavor. Love it, love it. And I have a new favorite cabbage. These little guys are cute right here. Very cute. These are cool. These are really cool. All right, if you want to find uh, more information about this or any of the recipes that we've been bringing you from the uh, Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen, go to our website, kgrh.com. Thank you. Good stuff.